everybody. My name is Ms. Casey here with the Children's Museum of Cleveland. Today we're going to talk about a shocking subject, circuits and electricity. Have you ever wondered how lights work or how light switches work? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about how those work today and show you guys how to make a simple circuit as well. So let's start off by talking about circuits. So a circuit is a path that allows electricity to flow from one place to another. And for most of us, electricity is important because it powers things like lights or appliances like fridges and ovens and helps us live our everyday life. So let's take a look at the circuit I've drawn on my board. So as you can see, I have made a complete circuit and you know it's a complete circuit because everything is connected together. So in order to make my circuit, the very first thing I need is a source of electricity. For mine, I'm going to be using a simple battery. Now, what I would like to do with my battery is I would like to channel that electricity to light a light bulb. That is my electrical appliance, which is a light bulb. And for a little bit of added fun, I'm going to open and close my circuit with an on and off switch. Now, the most important part of a circuit is how you get them all to connect together. That is called a conductor. A conductor allows the electricity to move from the source of electricity to the electrical appliance. For my circuit today, I'm going to be using something called alligator clamps. So now that we understand what a circuit looks like, let's see if we can build one ourselves. All right, everybody, as you can see, I have my three pieces and parts, as well as my alligator clamps to complete my circuit. So I'm going to start with my source of electricity, my AA battery. So I'm going to take one of my alligator clips and I'm going to clip my conductor to one side and I want the electricity to flow to the light to turn it on. As you can see, my light didn't turn on because I still have open parts of my circuit I still need to fill in. So let's grab another alligator clamp, hook it onto the other side of my source of electricity and hook this one up to my switch. Again, my circuit is not complete, so my light hasn't turned on yet. So I need one more alligator clip. All right, as you can see, my circuit makes a complete circle, but if you notice, my light is still off. Well, that's because I haven't turned my switch on yet. So, big countdown, three, two, one. And look at that. My light bulb is now getting its source of electricity through the conductors of the alligator clip, and the light bulb is able to light. If I want the light bulb to turn off, I can turn off the switch. Or another way I can do it is simply break the circle by taking off one of the alligator clamps and my circuit is no longer complete as well. So as you can see, circuits and electricity is as simple as just a few steps of connecting everything together. So next time you turn on the lights or open the fridge or cook something in your oven, you know exactly how the electricity is getting from the power plant to your electrical appliances. And if you are lucky enough to come and visit us at the Children's Museum of Cleveland, you may even get a chance to build your very own circuit in our arts and parts exhibit. But for now, I'm gonna sign off Miss Casey from the Children's Museum of Cleveland, hoping to see you again real soon. For more programming like this, see cmcleveland.org.